Hey guys, Sarah Hunt, independent beauty consultant with Mary Kay Cosmetics, and I'm here to teach you this look. These are some of the other Chroma Fusion eye colors that I've been using, um, and I love them. They're so pretty. Um, all the colors I've used so far are really pretty. I haven't gotten to use all of them, so I'm excited about doing some more looks. I'm excited about doing some color looks too, but today we're just going to do like <clears throat> a really pretty, I don't really know what to call this, browns coppery rusty kind of look I don't know <laughs> um, but if you want to know keep watching all right now we're going to use concealer I'm going to put this on my eyelids I'm using deep ivory and you can see my eyelids are really discolored just kind of ruddy looking um, this will help to cover that up which will give me the truest color of the eyeshadow when I put it on because the eyeshadow won't be mixing with my skin pigments um, I'm just patting it in with a sponge. You never want to pull on your eye area, the skin on your eye areas. It just um, wrinkles so easily. So I'm just patting it in with a sponge. It's also going to act like glue for my eyeshadow and hold it on a long time. Now I'm doing my translucent powder. I had already done my foundation, so I'm just putting this on to set it. And I love translucent powder because it really works throughout the day to control the shine. And here are all the beautiful eyeshadow colors. I dropped this palette earlier today and everything flew out onto the floor and a few of them got dented and one of them lost just a little bit of product, but they didn't shatter. And so that was awesome to me and they didn't shatter because they're so creamy. And I'm going to start with the biscotti. I'm going to put this all over. It's my base color. So I'm going to do it all the way from my lash line to my brow line and I'm just patting it on. It covers really well. I'm probably putting way too much eyeshadow on. I could have just done one layer, but I kept going. Just being a little extra. Alright, now we're going to go into the hazelnut. This is a perfect color for shading. I'm going to put it right above my crease. If you don't have a crease, um, you know, if you have a hooded eye, this is perfect. This is a perfect color for creating that crease and pushing um, back right there above the crease, which will pull your eye color forward, which makes your eyes look larger. And I'm just doing a little rainbow motion back and forth. And now I'm just getting a really fluffy brush and I'm going to use the Cinnabar and I'm going to put that on the outside corner of my eyes. I'm going to do the outer third of my crease and the outer third of my lash line and then just connect them there at the side. Kind of looks like a sideways P sign. Sideways V. And these are all matte shades that I've used so far. But sh the shimmer's coming. Here it comes. We're going to use candlelight. I'm using my um, smudger brush that comes with the brush set. I love this brush. This is my favorite brush. And I'm just going to pat it on that area right there. It's such a pretty color. And I'm going to use the same brush and go into burnished bronze. Burnished bronze is a beautiful color. It goes on so pretty. I'm going to put it just right over where I put the cinnabar. I feel like the cinnabar added some depth and the um, burnished bronze has the shimmer kind of metallic look to it. I'm also going to put that under my, on my bottom lash line. And I just keep doing more. I can't stop. And now I'm just going to blend it all in just a little bit. I don't ever want to blend too much. I don't want to lose where I put everything, but I do want to soften it up a little bit. Now I'm cur curling my eyelashes really, really quickly. 
If you hold it for 10 seconds, as opposed to crimping and crimping and crimping, it does better. And as soon as I'm done crimping both of them for 10 seconds, I will put some lash primer on. I feel like it kind of holds that curl in place. And then I'll do my other makeup. So I'm going to clean out my eyebrows right now while I'm letting my lash primer dry. And brush them backwards and brush them the way that they grow. It just gets any makeup out of them that you got in there, powder or anything like that. And I am using our um, brand new eyebrow pencil. It's got a fine little point on it. The product is a fine little point and it's like drawing little hairs on your eyebrow so it blends in really well and then I'm just going to brush it out just to make sure it's soft now I'm going to do my liquid eyeliner I'm looking for a mirror On this eye, I start on the inside and I just do like little dashes all the way out to the end. When you're using liquid eyeliner, well, I'm going to go ahead and do the wing now and pull it in. But when you're using liquid eyeliner, you want to make sure that you um, don't leave any fleshy skin showing between your eyeliner and your lashes. When you use any eyeliner, you want to do that. Um, I don't know why I'm the opposite on the other eye. I start with the wing and then I go to the inside. And I'm just trying to make sure that I get all the color close as close to my lashes as I can. If you've never done liquid eyeliner before, do it when you're not going somewhere. Just play with it and try it. I mean, I would say it takes three or four days of trying it over and over just, you know, to get used to it. And sometimes I do just a little on the bottom, just right there at the corner. I don't ever pull it down very far, though. Now I'm going to take just some regular black eyeliner and tight line my eye just to make sure there's no flesh um, sticking through there, shining through. I don't know if that made any difference at all. In my mind, it makes a world of difference, but I'm not really sure if it does. All right, now we're going to do mascara. This is Lash Intensity. I love this stuff. Um, it's got a fat side and a skinny side. And you see the skinny side, you're going to hold that side first. And that'll get the product all the way as close to your lash line as possible. And it really just deposits a lot of product on your lashes. And then once you've done held the skinny side, then you turn it to the fat side. And um, that will pull the mascara out and lengthen your lashes. I definitely get the most volume and length out of this mascara. I love it. All right, now I'm going to do a little bit of shading with Beige 2 and Bronze 2 press powders. I'm just going to mix them together with my blush brush. Actually, that's my powder brush and put it right there and right there this just warms up my whole face i don't always do this but sometimes i do and when i do i feel like i look like i have a little bit of a tan <laughs> which i desperately need right now This just is supposedly makes your nose look a little smaller and putting, putting it under the bottom lip will make your lip appear fuller. And I'm just going to take my blush brush and get some 
I think it's called Rosy Nude. It's the color I keep going back to. I love it. It's a matte color. And our matte colors are so gorgeous on. I love them. If you have large pores, a matte color is best for you. It's best to stay away from the shimmer. And I have large pores, but I love the shimmer too. So that's what they say to do. But I don't always follow the rules. And I just um, went over it with my powder brush to make sure I didn't do too much. Now I'm going to use... Um, I think it's called light nude lip liner I'm just gonna line my lips and I'm using our semi shine gel lipstick which I absolutely love and this is naturally bu naturally buff is the name of it. The formula is so creamy. I absolutely okay, guys, love this it. is my finished look. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you want to try the Chroma Fusion eye colors, make an appointment with me or make an appointment with your Mary Kay beauty consultant. Um, if you don't have a beauty consultant, you can go to MaryKay.com, and um, there is a search for an independent beauty consultant in your area um, and you can find somebody that can help you out these colors are amazing they wear really well they stay on they have 12 hours of staying power um, they're a much creamier formula so that means you're going to get a better um, color payoff when you put it on um, and it also means they're just going to wear a really long time so that I have been really impressed with them so if you've tried them comment below what you think about them um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up <clears throat> if you want to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss me posting a video every three months, do that because you don't want to miss out. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope you know that true beauty comes from the Lord and it comes from within. And I hope you guys have a great week. Thanks for watching.